For more on the story, I'm joined in the studio by Wasim Nas. Wasim, first of all, tell us more about who this attacker, attacker is. What is his background? Well, actually, this is someone who's into jihadi ideology since a long time. He was in contact with a group called Fursan Laza, which was one of the first groups uh, in France to be active on this, those issues, while he was 15 years old. And then he was in contact with two terrorists who committed two attacks here in France, in Magnanville, in saint etienne de rouvray He was in contact with French jihadis in Syria. He tried himself to go to Syria in 2016, but he was arrested because he was preparing an attack at La Défense, which is in the suburbs of, uh, of Paris, and he was convicted of five years of imprisonment. He did four. And then he went out after going through what they call a de-radicalization uh, process that was in uh, a few months back. It ended uh, in, the, in, the, um, in March of 2023. The follow-up of his psychological uh, health was ended and it was con he was considered as not dangerous anymore. And now... Uh he left mm. a uh, mm. video to explain mm. uh, what he had done, and it seems from what mm. you're uh, telling us that this is not one of those lone wolf attacks. Mm. There's a lot of organization and planning behind it. Well, actually, it shows that ideologically he is uh, on the path of the Islamic State because he praises the jihadis of the Islamic State all over the world, saying like area by area, Africa, Sinai, Yemen, etc., etc., Pakistan, Afghanistan. And then he vows allegiance to the actual caliph of the Islamic State, uh, Abu Hafs, which puts his action in this, uh, in this frame, actually. And it is very similar uh, with uh, the killer of Aras a few uh, months back, who killed the teacher he, who didn't claim it himself, but it was found on his phone. The same procedure was found. And we have to remember, it is the first time that a convicted uh, uh, jihadi activist goes out of prison and commits an attack here in France. And it's the second time in Europe. The first was in Vienna in November 2020, and it was the same profile, meaning someone who wanted to go to Syria gets uh, arrested, goes into prison, de-radicalization, and then he goes out uh, seemingly as de-radicalized, but actually he ends up committing uh, an attack. So it's a first in France, a second in Europe. We cannot say yet if it's a trend, but both of them, and even the latest in Arras, and even the attack that uh, was committed in uh, Brussels also a few weeks back, are in the same frame of the Islamic State. Because even when he talks, he didn't talk about Gaza or Palestine in his video, but even in the exchange of, uh, of uh, words with the policeman when he got arrested, he talked about Palestine, and, but not in the frame of Hamas because he even published on his social media uh, things that are very critical of Hamas, accusing Hamas of being very close of Iran. Now, there is another debate <clears throat> growing uh, here in the political class in France, mm. which is uh, those who are focusing mostly on the terrorist links mm. and those who are trying to focus more on his mental health issues. Mm. Tell us more about that. Well, actually, yes, that's the political game uh, between brackets, because the Minister of Interior will say, OK, it's the fault of the uh, of the medical uh, staff, and the medical staff will say it's the, it's the fault of the intelligence services. But actually, it's in between. You know, because uh, being a jihadi uh, is a political uh, before anything, you know. And, but people who commit such acts have also a slight a psychological maybe problems. But the interesting thing about this is that he was psychologically followed while in jail. And when we know the conditions of imprisonment of uh, people who are accused of terrorism, it, is, it, it makes a psychological follow-up uh, necessary, and even uh, that's the way it goes. Actually, there's no other way around it. I Meaning de-radicalization de means that there's a psychological uh, follow-up. But the interesting thing about this is that he even tricked the people who were following him psychologically and on the security issues. And just one detail, which is very interesting, that when the killer of uh, Samuel Paty, the teacher, uh, Anzorov, committed his act, it was known that the actual latest killer of Paris went to the police from himself telling them, I was in contact with him, but I denounce what he says. And his act, etc., etc., etc. And he was with someone from the penitentiary who was following him up. And this follow up and the psychological follow up ended a few months back. Meaning he waited, he planned, and then he committed his act exactly as the Islamic State activist in Vienna did three years ago.